This is your Tech News Briefing for Monday, August 15th. I'm Zoe Thomas for The Wall Street Journal. Getting more electric vehicles on the road means there's greater demand for lithium batteries that power them. And getting more lithium means dealing more often with an area of the world called the Lithium Triangle, a stretch of land across multiple countries in South America that has 55% of the world's known lithium deposits. But there's a catch. Three, actually. Bolivia has almost no production of the metal. Chile's new government is putting the brakes on some projects. And Argentina, where the government has promised to expand lithium operations, currently has only two mines. Experts are warning these bottlenecks for getting the mineral could slow the uptake of EVs worldwide. Joining us to discuss why this is happening and its global implications is WSJ South America reporter Ryan Dubé. Hi, Ryan. Thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me. I want to start by asking about a Chinese EV company, BYD. They had a contract with Chile to mine lithium, but the government canceled that. Can you explain what happened here? What was behind that decision? Sure. So um, in January of this year, BYD won a contract. It's part of an auction to mine uh, lithium in Chile. The government, because lithium is a strategic resource, it doesn't give concessions like it would for copper or gold or other minerals. So what it gives is a production quota, essentially. So after it won the quota, um, some indigenous communities who are concerned about the use of water from lithium mining, they filed a lawsuit to try to overturn it. It was suspended essentially uh, immediately almost after the auction was awarded. And then in June, the Supreme Court ruled on it and threw out the contract uh, saying that the auction was invalid because the government had not consulted with Indigenous people first, essentially. And a lot of these Indigenous groups, I believe, have brought up things like the environmental impact. What kind of environmental impact does mining for lithium have? Because mining for most things has some kind of environmental impact. Yeah, absolutely. So lithium in Chile is found in the Atacama Desert, which is the driest place in the world. It's, you know, a moon-like landscape uh, surrounded by volcanoes, essentially. It's spectacular views. But um, the lithium is found underground in brines, which is salty water, essentially. And so the companies to extract the lithium, they need to pump up the brines and they evaporate the lithium in the sun in large man-made pools. So the indigenous people say are concerned that the amount of water that is extracted from underground, from the brines, is such a quantity that affects the lagoons and affects the wildlife in those areas, and it could affect you know their farming essentially that they survive on. We talked about some of the environmental issues. I mean, are there other concerns coming from these governments about the mining of lithium or about the use of this resource from their countries? Yeah, there's two other issues. So one is on top of the environmental issues, there's the issue of you know. Communities that have lived near mines for many, you know, other types of mines for many years have a history of living close to areas where there's lots of natural resource extraction. They want to make sure that they kind of benefit from that wealth that is created. And on the government side as well, um, the economic history of Latin America is really marked by the use of natural resources. And the debate is over how best to use those for our society. So... On one hand, it's, you know, the idea of taking advantage of the resources to mine them and to ship them out and export them to other areas, which creates a lot of value locally as well. But a lot of, you know, politicians and other uh, government officials, uh, communities as well, they want to kind of industrialize and have a bigger manufacturing sector based on those natural resources. Right. I mean, you mentioned kind of the the demand for electric vehicles, but lithium also goes in other batteries. Can you give us a sense of how much demand there is for this mineral now and kind of how that's been growing? Sure. So today, for example, I I believe the global production of lithium is about 500,000 tons. The demand has increased in the last few years as electric vehicles sales have increased. The main driver of lithium demand is from electric vehicles, even though it's used for medicine, for health purposes, as well as for smartphones, for example. But in the next decade or so, electric vehicle sales are supposed to increase by about 30-fold. In the next 20 years, some figures I've seen says that the demand for lithium will increase up to about 40-fold. How are the companies that want to mine it and then the companies, I guess, that need it down the road dealing with 
those dueling challenges of kind of rising demand, maybe rising competition for this material, and at the same time, governments that are maybe putting a little bit more uh, restrictions or being a little bit more cautious about granting mining contracts for lithium. Sure. So there are some companies that are trying to develop new technologies in order to mine lithium without using as much water and without the traditional process that they use in South America, which is the evaporation process. But other companies, I mean, they've, they're basically saying, well, we know we can't develop it in Bolivia, so we're not going to go there. We know we can't, you have a really tough time developing it in Chile, so we're not going to go there either. The one country in South America that does have lithium that is kind of open to investments at the moment is Argentina. So many companies are going to Argentina, but Argentina has a lot of macroeconomic problems. You know, inflation is about 65% right now, one of the highest in the world. They have restrictions on bringing currency in, on imports, and that's a big issue for companies that are, you know, trying to mine a chemical that requires a lot of technology to bring in, uh, a lot of expertise to bring in as well. So the result essentially is that lithium prices are increasing a lot. They're up about 750% since the beginning of 2021. And the concern is that that'll make any transition to renewable, you know, to electric vehicles more expensive and more difficult. All right. That's our reporter, Ryan Dubé. Thanks for joining us, Ryan. Thank you. And that's it for today's tech news briefing. If you want more tech stories, check out our website, wsj.com. And if you like our show, please rate and review it. You can do that wherever you get your podcasts. I'm Zoe Thomas for The Wall Street Journal. Thanks for listening.